A storm is coming as we go into Friday. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Let's talk about it here. We do have a moderate risk for roadway flooding. We do have a low risk for coastal flooding. I bumped that down from moderate. And then the winds, unfortunately, it's going to be a boom or bust scenario. So we could have either widespread threats with the wind or nothing at all. So I'm going to split the middle here and say it's a moderate threat. Taking a look at our storm timeline, Veterans Day is the calm before the storm. It'll be another warm day across the area. Good for our Veterans Day ceremony. So as we go into Friday morning, it's a windswept rain. Heavy rain is likely. Damaging winds and coastal flooding will be a possibility. And as we go into the afternoon hours, we're going to start to dry out here and we still stay mild with temperatures in the 60s. Wednesday was a a fantastic day here again across the area. Nothing but blue sky highs in the low 70s in Woodbine and K-May Courthouse. Those were the highest readings in the state as we go over into Cumberland County in the 60s here. A unique day in Atlantic County. The shore in Atlantic City was warmer than places further inland here, something we don't see too often. Over in Ocean County, though, that was not the case. We were 69 in Toms River and in Eagleswood, 67 in Point Pleasant and in Harvey Cedars. Taking a look at our what to wear forecast, jeans and a t-shirt for our Wednesday, and we'll do the same as we go into Thursday and Friday as well, though you're going to go from sunglasses to the umbrella as we go into Friday. Friday and Thursday while you're wearing those jeans and a t-shirt make that make sure to take in any loose outdoor objects and make sure too you want to cut down any hanging tree branches in case that wind really does come through going into Saturday will be more jeans and sweater weather here across the area as we do start to cool down for Wednesday evening, we cool down into the 50s and eventually the 40s overnight. Few high clouds with 30s well inland in a place like Weymouth or a place like Upper Deerfield Township for Wednesday night. As we go into Thursday morning, temperatures rise up pretty quickly. Winds come out of the north and east as they start to rotate more to the south ahead of our storm system here. We should be from the east southeast on our Thursday, but it is another warm day here. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s inland, 65 over at the shore. I would still think that we get to 70 along the New Jersey turn. Pike as those clouds thicken here to see this milky kind of hue in the sky as we go into the afternoon. Looking at our Veterans Day ceremonies, looking great here. If you do want to be out and attend these ceremonies, whether in North Wildwood, Summers Point, Atlantic City, and Cape May County, as we say thank you to all who have served. Going into our Thursday night, we'll have low temperatures actually happen before midnight. We should be in the mid to upper 50s, let's say around 11 o'clock p.m. And then we rise into the 60s after midnight. We do have some drizzle that does develop after midnight as well. And by the time we start off our Friday morning, we're already going to be talking about some rain here across the area. You see this main line here. That's where you can see a rumble of thunder or at the very least some brief heavy rain. This is 7 a.m. Now this is 10 a.m. or in the back edge is starting to get out of here. By 1 o'clock, we're mostly dry across South Jersey. I think it takes until 2 for us to completely dry out. Rainfall totals are going to generally be between a half inch to an inch of rain. There will be some places that are locally higher. You could get up to an inch and a half. I think we're going to see areas of roadway flooding. A stream or a creek could rise above their banks if you do get over an inch. But overall, I think problems are going to be fairly limited relative for this kind of system. Now, the winds, a little bit of a different story here. This is Friday at 7 a.m. Notice our sustained winds well into the 20s everywhere here, screaming from the south. So it's a windswept rain for our Friday morning. But this is what I'm most concerned about. These are winds about 2,500 feet high. There is only one building in the world taller than 2,500 feet high, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it here. I think it's, I won't even try to pronounce it. But the point is, we do have winds potentially 55 to 60 miles an hour at this level. You're seeing this in knots. This translates generally over to 55 to 60 miles an hour. That could get dragged down if we see a thunderstorm or if we see a heavy downpour. Now, as we go into Saturday, some rain showers during the afternoon hours here it should be a dry morning and midday and even early afternoon for us though as we start to turn cooler and I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere in northwest New Jersey sees a couple of snowflakes mixing on in. Here's a look at our inland seven day forecast. Let's get you over into the weekend again. Temperatures will be in the mid 60s on Saturday but look what happened Saturday night and then into Sunday. Bam! We are back to mid November weather and we just keep sliding down from there. I mean we're going to be in the 40s for highs on Monday and Tuesday. That is is our coldest air of the season and that's also about five to seven degrees below average and as we go into Wednesday we'll start to pick up to near average with highs in the upper 50s. For the latest in South Jersey weather you can follow me on social media or you can come to our website at thepressofac.com slash weather.